I should, you know, start Salty Day since it's nearly October. Um, so I did. <laughs> this is what I did yesterday. Um, I finished the back yoke. So it's going to turn out so good, you guys. I can hardly wait. Um, so this goes right here. Okay. Okay. That's where this goes. So now I need to pick up, what's next? The left front, then the right front, then join them in the round after I do whatever it says, then at the body. And if it's going to go as fast as just the diamond D section on the back yoke went, this is going to be a fast knit, but it's so fuzzy. It's going to turn out so good. I'm excited. Um, yeah, so I am going to continue working on this. Um, yeah, this is just, I can't stop looking at it. Look at the fuzzy. Isn't that, isn't it? But I don't have any other words, but look at that. Did I pick a good color combination? I think I did. So salty days has begun. This is just one afternoon, evening of work. The back yoke is completely done. Um, now I just, yeah, continue on. Um, I don't have anything else to say other than repeating what I've already said. Look at it. God, I'm so excited. Okay. Continuing to knit. Salty Days is coming along nicely. Um, I've made some great progress and I haven't filmed any of it. Yeah, I know. It's a blad, blad, <laughs> bad vlog when I, I don't film the making of the thing. Um, so let me show you. Here is Salty Days so far. Um, I just tried it on. I didn't put it on uh, try on tubing because I didn't want to. So I, I put on longer needles than what I normally use just so I could have a little extra room and I still lost stitches, but I got them put back on and we're fine. So I decided to stop at this point in the body after this chart. I'm now working on chart C for the body because I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and do the sleeves because why not? Sleeves are fast and easy. Hi, editing Jess here. The rest of that clip was unusable because somehow the audio was no longer synced. It was off by like three seconds and I don't know how to fix that. So here's the gist of the rest of what I was saying in that one clip. My plan was, is, insert correct tense here, do a sleeve, do the collar, do the other sleeve. I had the correct needle size for the collar. I just had the wrong length. The needles I have were way too long. And so I needed to go get a 16 inch needle in the correct needle size. And that um, the construction is the same as the stripe pipe sweater. So you do back yoke, pick up left and right, knit left and right front for however long it says, then join them together, continue knitting flat until it is the same length as the back yoke, and then join under underarms and continue on. I do like the construction of that. That is pretty simple and easy to understand. You shouldn't have a problem with it. And the other thing I was rambling about was I'm not even halfway through and I already want one in Christmas colors, like a dark green, even though I have a Christmas sweater in the stripe pipe from what I made last year. But I should wait on that. Should being the key words there. <clears throat> so um, back to your back, back, the hip. back to your regularly scheduled making of vlog. It is the next day. Um, I did not get a whole lot of knitting done yesterday. 
but needles for the collar have been acquired. Um, I just need to finish the first sleeve, do the collar, do the second sleeve, and then we can continue on the body. So, um, let's do that. I don't remember what I last updated you on, so I'll just go with what it currently looks like. What it currently looks like is this. Okay, I have um, one sleeve done, got the collar done, and I am doing the ribbing on the second sleeve, and then I need to finish the body. I did a um, try on. On it yeah I didn't put the body on try it on tubing which is why it looks really tight um, because I just had it on end caps and stopper cap things and I was honestly it's because I was lazy I, I didn't want to put it on try it on tubing but it's coming along great I just did a girls weekend in Utah and I did a lot of the knitting <laughs> Um, I finished the collar and all of this sleeve up to this point on my girls weekend. Um, so that was knitting in the hotel room and knitting in the car when I wasn't the one driving. Um, it was really fun. It was fun. I was expecting, cause you know, it's mid October. Both of us were expecting fall weather. It wasn't. But hey, it's probably going to be fall weather this weekend when we're not there. Anyway, that's fine. I did a lot of knitting in the hotel room. And it is going to be so cute, guys. I'm excited. Oh, and I got my hair did. Yeah, I got my hair did. It was fun. It was. I didn't tell the people, the boys in my house, that I was getting my hair done. So I come home and they were surprised <laughs> to see it, but it, it was funny. Um, my dog attacked me with kisses. Like I was gone for three nights and the dog wouldn't let me get up off the floor. She was that happy <laughs> to see me. And um, let's see, what did we do? We went for a hike up Provo Canyon. Um, we did Bridal Veil Falls. It's not very strenuous or long hike, about half an hour or so. But it was really fun and we got to see a lot of what no the trees are changing and it was beautiful and the falls were it was it was just beautiful and snacks and yeah then what else did we do oh and then we did a haunted house um our biggest takeaway was why is the floor squishy and why are the walls fuzzy and wet? I don't know. <laughs> but I had never done a haunted house before. And then that was pretty fun. We were, we didn't get back to the hotel until after midnight. It was a long line, long line and hot, very hot. Um, oh, and then we got my hair done. Oh, and I visited a yarn shop in Lehigh, as seen on Nitty Natty, it was um, Petite Fours and Pearls. So I have a mini yarn haul, okay? One second. The yarn I have, I was looking for specific yarn for 
the one pair of the socks from the spooky sock set spooky sock set by stone knits the ghost ones the i ain't afraid of no ghost so i found the yarn um <clears throat> this is for the ghosts this is yarnaceous fibers and it's the salta fingering weight a pop folate a pop folate i think that is pop folate so this is for the ghost this color is for the cuff the heels and the toes also yarnaceous fibers i don't know what color this is it's also the <clears throat> i cannot talk it's also the salta fingering i don't know what color this is it doesn't say but I love this pretty fuchsia. Okay. And now the main color is this one. I like it because it's, see the bright green. It's got that pop of fuchsias, fuchsias, what? Fuchsia purpley pink in there. And I figured that would go great. They would all It's going to be very cute socks, my friend. Huasco? I don't know. I can't say this one. What color is this? The color Deep Blue Sea from whatever this is. If you can say that yarn, congratulations. So these are going to be this year's Halloween socks. Cute little bat socks. Um, I'm excited to get these started. And then I told my friend to pick out some yarn so I can make her some socks. This is what she picked. Also, the sock yarn that I can't pronounce in copper patina is the color that she picked. They're gonna be pretty socks and we need to decide on a pattern for hers. So that is later after the sweater um i should probably finish the harry potter socks before i start more socks but anyway it's fine so mini yarn haul got my hair did went hiking haunted house oh and we went to ikea for the first time neither one of us had been to ikea before so that was an experience yeah we went on a sunday i don't know if that's any better or any worse than going on a weekday? Because I had never been before. So I am no longer an Ikea version. I need to finish up my sweater. So let's look, take a look at it again. This is where we are with Salty Days. One sleeve, collar, other sleeve mostly done. Then I need to finish, <laughs> I can't talk, finish, the body. So I will see you when it is finished. Salty Days is done and I have it done in time for sweater weather. The weather has turned and it's officially fall now and no longer feels like summer. Uh, the last update was when I was in Utah, after I got back from Utah, I had finished the collar down there and did most of a sleeve. I think I had, had I started the ribbing on the sleeve? I'm not sure if I did or not, but it is all done. It is so fuzzy and so warm. And I am very excited to be wearing it for this year. The diamond pattern, this one, but going in the round has a special instruction on row five. So make sure you actually read the pattern for that part because it's a little different so that way it can keep the pattern even. Um, other than that, it's great. I love the folded in collar. 
because it's not so high. It doesn't feel like it's choking you like a turtleneck. There's a doggy. Um, yeah. So are we going to play in leaves now? Yeah, we should go play in leaves. Anyway, Salty Days is done. I kind of want another one to have in green, but I don't know if I'm going to. I do want to make her Arctic light. That one is all over cables and I love that one so much. And so now we're going to play in leaves because that's what we see do. Oh, and um, I won't see you at right back. I never intended on going. I just wanted to feel like I was one of the cool kids and wanted to make a sweater specifically for it.